and welcome to the Hidden Gem of the Smokies, Cades Cove, Tennessee. Today we're going to explore the barns, houses, churches, and so many other things that make Cades Cove such a wonderful destination in the Great Smoky Mountains. So lace up your hiking boots, grab a jacket, and let's go explore y'all. Come on folks, Tennessee is a 4,000 acre, 11 mile loop road with numerous trails and things to explore. It's the largest open air museum in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, according to CadesCove.net. Cades Cove was named after a Cherokee chief's wife that settled here originally, and it has been the source of hunting and life for so many Cherokee Indians. And the frontiermen soon came after Cherokee Indians settled here and cut trees and built several homes and churches that still stand today and there are remnants of their past all throughout the Cades Cove. Unfortunately, no descendants live here anymore, but we're gonna explore a little of what's left in Cades Cove and what all there is to enjoy, folks. All right, folks, we have come to the John Oliver Cabin, which was home to John and Lurney Oliver in the 1800s. It's very neat because this family actually survived their first winter and many other winters following with the help of Cherokee Indians that resided in Cades Cove prior to frontiersmen making home here. This original cabin actually stood 50 feet behind where this one's at. So let's go explore a little bit. All right, we are inside John Oliver's cabin right now. Pretty cool, if you all could imagine having a kitchen, bed, and probably living in here with your family. We have come across one of the most popular animals to film and take pictures of here in Cades Cove, the white-tailed deer. The white-tailed deer, as well as many other animals in Cades Cove, actually roam free, and there are no fences or systems to keep them in any one place. Um, park rangers just ask that um, we are careful when observing the wildlife. Some of the many animals that Cades Cove have to offer include, of course, the white tailed deer right here, bear, bobcat, fox, coyotes, wolves, boar, and turkey. We are at one of the few churches in Cades Cove known as Primitive Baptist Church. Back in the 1800s, when frontiersmen came to Cades Cove, Religion was vital to the settlers and it gave them hope in rough times. The Primitive Baptist Church was established in 1827 and this building was actually built in 1887. So let's go inside and look a little bit. All right folks, we are now inside the Primitive Baptist Church. It's beautiful. Could you just imagine having the service in here and then having the view that you do? It's just wonderful. Cades Cove is truly such a majestic destination in the Great Smoky Mountains, and there's so many fun things to do here. Um, they offer biking year-round, and you can actually rent the equipment you need for a low price. I've actually done this myself and made it through the whole 11 mile loop and it's very fun and offers a different site that you might not see on the auto loop that they offer that we're going to go on today. They also offer trout fishing here in Cades Cove and it's allowed year round with a permit. Um, just be sure to check with a park ranger about certain restrictions or rules on catching and release of the trout. They also offer a wonderful campground here in Cades Cove with 159 sites and it's one of the best places to camp if you're really looking for an outdoor experience. They even offer horseback riding in March through December in hay rides and carriage rides. And being so close to Gatlinburg, which is such a high destination for weddings, they even offer a few outdoor weddings here in Cades Cove, if anyone we have made it to the John C. Cable Mill and Visitor Center here in Cades Cove. Um, mills were the main power source in the 1800s for frontiersmen, as there was no electricity, no TV, none of those luxuries we have today, and it was very scarce, so they had to figure out a way to ground their grain while also getting some power. So this is the main cable mill site and as you can see there's a flume right there that takes the water from the streams up to the mill and runs the mill. How cool is that y'all?
folks, we, we have come to the end of our journey here in Cades Cove, Tennessee. We've seen a little bit of the churches, buildings, and a few other things that Cades Cove has to offer to anyone interested in being a part of nature. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a few of the sites, and if you haven't visited, be sure to plan to come visit us for a day as well as other sites in the Great Smoky Mountains. And if you visited us before, please come back again, folks. You know, there's something so peaceful and so healing about being in Cades Cove and about being surrounded by the mountains with no city, no bustling people, nothing to worry about. I've experienced this today, sharing this with you all, and I hope you all can come and have the same exact experience I have. I'm Millie Hickman, folks, and thank you so much for joining me today.